Hey guys, Kieran here. So today, what I decided to do is I'm going to be splitting one of my dreadlocks in half. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is because it's grown really thick and really large and it's pulling on my scalp and it's just really uncomfortable when I have my hair up and when I have my head down. There are many ways to split a dreadlock. One of them, you can simply just take your thick dreadlock and cut up through the middle of it and then you'll have two separate dreadlocks. I do not recommend doing this because the internal structure of dreadlocks is different to that of normal hair. Normal hair, all the hairs sit up and down, perfectly straight, no issues. With dreadlocks, especially mature dreadlocks, the hairs sort of scrunch up and go every which way and so they go like this and like this and like this and like this and you just can't predict where the hairs are going to be. So as you're snipping up the dread, you are actually snipping along all of the lengths of hair from the root to the tip. So instead of having a strong held together dreadlock full of hair connected in your root and in your tip, you'll have a dreadlock with some roots connected to the tip, but a lot of them won't be. And then you're compromising the internal structure of your dreadlock and it is very likely that it will not hold its shape, it will not keep itself together, especially if it's not mature enough and it'll just fall out and you'll have no hair left in that spot. So that's a really big, big scare factor. Don't want to do that. The other option is to just deal with it, which I have been doing for several months, I'm kind of sick of it. So the final and most time consuming option, but in my opinion, the best option is to unpick it, comb it out, give it a good conditioning treatment, leave it as normal hair for a couple of days. I leave mine for about one or two. I have split dreads before using this method. So yeah, just unpick them, go all the way up to the root, Condition them with a deep conditioning treatment just to make sure that the structural integrity of the hair itself is good. And then leave it be, keep it plaited up so in case you don't want the loose hairs getting caught in any of your other dreadlocks. And then re-dreadlocking it up as two separate dreadlocks or in three, four, however many you want to split the single one into. Uh, it has its cons because it means that you're essentially starting the dreadlock again from scratch. And if you've had dreadlocks for a very long time, they mature over time and they become more knotted up and more solid. So if you've had yours in for a year or two, you basically just have to start again. And that sucks. But compared to the risk of potentially losing an entire dreadlock, yeah, I'm willing to start again. I have split one dreadlock before. It had split at the root. So instead of the root coming down and then dreadlock down here, it had split. So it had one bit of root dreadlocked up here and then one bit of root dreadlocked up here and then the rest of it was dreadlocked down here. But the bit at the root, so this is my skull, the bit at the root had a massive gap in it. I waited for about three to four months seeing if those two gaps would come together as one and they didn't. So what I did was I just unpicked it all with the back of a crochet hook, conditioned them as I went, I didn't use water because your hair is actually weaker when it's wet. I just did it dry and yeah, the hair came out surprisingly undamaged considering I bleach and dye my hair a lot. I was really impressed with that. So the dreadlock in question is this bad boy. He is huge. He's really heavy. You can see up here he has a massive root pulls on my head, on my scalp quite a bit and especially with my clip-in ears, these are my favourite ones to wear and because they clip in like so, they pull exactly on this spot and it's really quite painful so I'm just going to split it. The method I used to get my dreadlocks was a combination of back combing just to get the roots started, then crocheting and twist and rip to do the main body of them and then for about four months they've just been neglected. I haven't touched them except for dyeing and just splitting out the roots, just pulling them apart to make sure they don't get, grow into combo dreadlocks. And that's about it. I just leave them, let them do their own thing. If they have massive loops, then I'll sometimes just get a crochet hook and just pull them back into line. But I usually leave them for a couple months if they haven't come back together by then, sorted out their situation. Then I just put them back together myself. Somebody's gotta save them. One thing to keep in mind when you are splitting your dreadlocks, 
there will be a lot of hair fallout from the actual lock itself. Please do not be freaked out, this is entirely natural. You lose hair every day when you have normal hair, when you brush your hair and you have all those little bits of hair in your brush, completely natural. Happens the same way with dreadlocked hair, except instead of the hair falling out and just scattering amongst the universe, it is trapped within the dreadlock itself, which is how the dreadlocks get thicker and knot up and do their thing. So when you comb them out and when you split them, there will be a large amount of fallout from that, but it's completely natural and it's hair that would have otherwise fallen out anyway. So please don't be stressed. When you re-dreadlock the hairs as well, the two dreadlocks will be thinner than the original one dreadlock. This is due to fallout. It's completely natural. Given time, the dreadlock will thicken up again and you'll be back in business. Okay, I'm gonna go get all my stuff and I will be right back. Okay, so tools for today's project is a crochet hook. This one is 0.75 millimeters. It is teeny tiny, it's got a teeny tiny head. And that's really good because it gets in and amongst all the teeny tiny hooks of the loops. But I'm actually going to be using the back of it, just like this. Just a blunt metal stick thing. For, to get into the tighter ones, I will use the front, but mainly I'll just be pulling them apart with this. The conditioning treatment I'm going to be using is NAC Ultimate Styling Protein. Yeah. Comes in this really cute blue bottle. Squirts out here. It smells really nice. I got this in a freebie grab bag sort of thing. I don't know where you'd buy it from normally, but it works for splitting dreadlocks because it protects against frizz. It repairs damage, looks after color, which is especially good for my hair. For this, I'm going to be taking off my ears simply because they will get in the way and I have got a long process of splitting ahead of me. Final thing you will need, movies, TV shows, YouTube, something to watch because you're going to be here for a couple of hours. Okay, this is the tip here. You can see it's loose but sort of held together on the inside. What I'm going to do is just take the end, the blunt end of my crochet hook, push it through near the tip and gently pull it down and apart. I'm going to do that again, just sort of wiggle it a little bit, separate it with my fingers, see all the little knots inside there. Go in with the finer end now, just sort of pull them out and down. And you don't want to pull too hard that you break the hair unnecessarily. Be firm but gentle, I would say. If you can, try and get as much done with your fingers because they are much softer on your hair. And I prefer to do this dry, so without water or conditioner, for as long as I can. Because as I said before, water compromises the strength of hair. Hair is much weaker when it's wet. I'm trying to minimize breakage as much as possible. Alternatives to a crochet hook if you don't have one. You could use a safety pin, you could use a thumbtack, uh, like a corkboard pin. You can also use a paper clip. Just be careful because the blunt ends of the paper clip could break the hair as you're pushing it in. You can also use like a fine-toothed uh, fine brush, like a lice brush if you have one, but it has to be metal. I wouldn't recommend using plastic because of the force, the repeated force that you'll put on it. It will just likely break. Get a proper metal brush if you plan on doing this or just a crochet hook. They're really cheap, you can get them at craft stores. If you don't have a craft store near you, you can just buy it online.
So it's actually the next day. It took me about eight hours to brush out the whole thing. I'm at Sir's house now. I'm cat sitting for him while he and his family are away. Um, where are you, little one? This is my cat. He's called Barbarian. And he loves to bite my fingers. So if you see him in the background, don't mind him. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll take out my ears now and I'll show you the progress that I made. So here it is. There it is split. I ended up doing a conditioning treatment last night just to let it sit in overnight and then I just plaited them so that they stayed in their own little sections. I did leave the root Read it as much as possible just to preserve it and make it a bit easier to dread back up. So there you go. This is the end result. Mm. Mm. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If it was informative, please leave a like below. It means so much to me. If you want to see more of my stuff, please subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos really regularly. Um, yeah, hope you have an awesome day. Say goodbye, baby. I love you too, baby boy. Bye-bye. Mm. You are a naughty kitty. Did you know that? Yeah. It's a hat. That's a cat. Oh, oh, oh there it goes. <laughs>